So, you know, just once again, we had a guy out there uh, asking, you know, uh, the, the, that ultimate question that I spoke about yesterday morning, which actually I'm not sure you guys actually got on video, but uh, my little opening statement, you know, the whole why thing. And, uh, you know, I sort of uh, facetiously at the end of it said, you know, I don't care about the why anymore, and it's, it's somewhat true. But he did remind me, he brought me back. He's like, so what's your buy into this? He's like, you're not a nuclear engineer, you don't work at a nuclear facility, you don't own a mine. And I said, well, you know, I guess, you know, you start working your way down that everybody should be interested in this. You know, this is why, you know, this is, everybody needs to have a, an interest in this, uh, these topics that we've spoken about in the last, because it's very literally our, our lives and our lifetime and our lifestyles. I don't have children and I'm not doing this for the future. You know, I don't, kind of don't care, you know. I'm doing it for my own future. I'm doing it because I like living the way I live, and I, I live fairly modestly. We live in a small house. I drive an 18-year-old Saturn. <laughs> you know, so we're fairly frugal, but I'm still an American, so that means I use vast amounts of resources no matter how frugal I am. So, I mean, that's one reason. I'm doing it just to, for myself. But, you know, the other reason you're doing it, John, me, the other reason I'm doing it is because, you know, this is a Jesuit school that we're at. And the Jesuits' motto is men for others, right? And uh, it's also sort of that whole noblesse oblige, you know, where the, you know, if you've got a lot, you got to give a lot back. And so, you know, I was infected with that growing up. I went to all Jesuit schools. And, uh, you know, I'm not trying to be like, stand on a mountain and be like, I have a mission. But it is sort of in there in my head that, you know, we learned about this. Vince and I learned about it. and. Once you learn something, you know, you can't pretend you didn't learn it and you can't pretend that you don't know what a powerful thing this is. And you can choose to do that, but that's not the moral choice to make, right? To ignore it, to pretend you didn't learn it. So the moral thing, the right thing to do is to just do what we're doing, which is, in my opinion, it's sort of the bare minimum. If you know that there's a powerful way to save our society, and maybe serve mankind in general, but you do nothing about it, then what good are you? You know, and you don't have to be religious. You don't have to be, you know, Superman or super motivated or uh, an evangelist to have that attitude. Because I'm certainly none of those things. But what I am is, you know, a very. I feel like I'm a powerful advocate because I saw what a powerful thing this could be. And uh, because of my upbringing, I had to act on it. <laughs> so that probably used up your power there, Gordon. Uh, yeah. Would you like me to tell a joke? Yes, tell a joke. <laughs> a thorium joke. Uh, uh, the Pope, uh, 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 yeah. Mormon, uh, and uh, a block a of thorium walk yeah, into yeah. a bar. How about a, 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 a semi-Jesuit uh, joke, you know? So a Jesuit's hearing confession, and a guy runs in, and he's like, he's like, oh, I... I just made love to the to the Smith twins. Oh my God, they're so beautiful! And 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 then on the way home, I made love to the the Jacob triplets, and and it was just the most wonderful thing, Father. And you know, Father Breslin says, "Hey, you, you don't need to tell me." And he goes, "Hey, tell you, I'm telling everybody." Ha <laughs> 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 ha. Okay, thanks, hey, John. All your boards are